Let's go. This is actually easy, bro. Ooh. Yo, what is going on, YouTube? It's your man ZP. Welcome to my YouTube channel. And today we are play playing uh, the Lancaster League uh, Entity Exam. Um, first time playing this. Uh, I mean, I seen it on Steam. Thought I'd try it out. Play it. See what's up with it. And yeah. This, I'm not even sure. Is there any... Yeah, the sound. I mean, I don't, I don't know what this is about, really, though. Opt out of webcam and computer profile name utilization. All right, let's just play. We are getting the feeling that you aren't taking us seriously. Uh, I mean, I don't know. No acknowledgement of missing battery or the taste we are leaking. One of your training protocols. I don't even know what this is really about. The agent body cam footage. ERD Entity Research Department. Yeah. Oh, that's where I spell my name, I guess. Let it go. Uh, okay, we ain't here. Um, the date is December 10th, 1991. Okay, so we are like way early 90s on here. Face detect, okay. Require learning modules and practice quiz. Zero six completion. So face detection, situation training, doppelganger detection, image recognition, audio transcription, entity 101. Required exams. Okay. So just, I mean, we could start with face detection. Let's try that. Throughout ERB research, there has been one constant. Entities who possess human characteristics are the most violent, deceptive, and are the greatest threat to public security. Oh, it this... is imperative that agents have the skills to not only detect potential threats, but fast. BRD has found the one-year agent fatality rate goes down from 34.7 per 100 to 26.2 per 100 after taking this module and being proficient in this skill. Okay. Using your cursor, click on the face in the image in the allotted time. Distractions may be employed. Alright. Begin. I'm kind of regretting playing this game, actually. Is it too late? Right there. Let's go, man. Bro, please. Whoa, hold on. I think I'm doing it right. It's right here. Dude, I actually don't want to be jump scared though. I don't know why I got on this. I think this game has jump scares. What the, what the heck, bro? I see no face right there. Oh, that was a weird image. What the heck? Right here. Let's go. I missed one so far. Right there. Ugh. What was that audio? Some of these are kind of easy. Let's go. Next. Next. Come on. Next. Let's go. This is actually easy, bro. Ooh. Dang. They got me. Right. Oh. No, no, no. That's three. How many lives do I have? Oh, okay. That's it. That's it for the kids. Quiz. So we pass. We pass that one. Good, bro. 
<laughs> I was not expecting that jump scare, bro. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, past one. Situation training. Let's go. This module has been created to address and rectify observed deviations from established protocols, reaffirming the essential principles that all ERT agents are expected to adhere to consistently. All right. One, search. Wait. Search stands for calmly collect evidence, eliminate threats, run away, and terminate self. Given an insertion with an entity, these are the order of actions an agent will take during escalation. First, of course, is data collection, as research remains the top priority of ERD. Second, eliminate the threat, unless such entity is on the preservation list. A dead Bro. entity can be studied, a dead agent cannot. If fighting back is futile, agents should run. If running is futile, agents should terminate themselves. Let I us look at an example where off myself follow the principles of CDRT. Cert. In 1989, Agent Redacted was collecting data on Entity 59 Skinwalker. Suddenly cornered, Agent Redacted fired all 12 shots of his service pistol into Entity. With no bullets left, Redacted was subjected to Entity 59 as rep. Remember to search, remember to keep an extra round. Oh, he shot all... He shot all his rounds. This video is another example. Think, following the values of search, what would you do? Oh, this is like ghost hunters. Okay, camera glitching now. Ooh. Oh, something's in there. What is what is this room? It's a bathroom? Uh I think I would run away, bro. Oh, this is creepy, bro. Ooh. So they're asking me what I would do in this situation? He it looked like he tried to do's and don'ts. Improvements we need in the RD. It looked like he was run, trying to run away. To interact with entities, if new data can be collected. Don't risk losing obtained data by interacting too much. Do help co-workers gather data. Don't become friends with co-workers. Do terminate co-workers who leak data. Don't hesitate. Explain later. Bro. What the heck? Lesson 3 Follow Mission Protocol. Deviation from Mission Protocol endangers yourself, co workers, and data collection. Assisting civilians is strictly forbidden unless stated otherwise in Mission Protocol. Reminder the punishment for deviation is termination. In 1990, Agent Redacted was on a mission studying an entity. The entity was located at Agent Redacted's house. Agent Redacted tried and successfully saved his wife. Agent Redacted didn't follow protocol and both him and his wife were terminated. What? This concludes the refresher. We will not remind about these topics again. See your supervisor if you have questions. Who, who's my supervisor? A multiple question quiz about these topics will now commence. Who is my supervisor? What? I'm so confused. Should you partner, but is no longer exhibiting hostile behavior. What should you do? He terminated my partner? Kill him. Oh, never mind. I was gonna say like you know terminate him, but I guess not. After a mission, an entity unknowingly followed you home. You have tried to shoot the entity, but your efforts are fit futile. You are cornered in your room. What should you do? I'm cornered. Terminate. Terminate yourself. Until you hear. 
your partner upstairs cry for help. You know you could probably neutralize the threat attacking your partner. What should you do? Let's do it. Oh. Okay, I'm not doing I'm not doing good at this actually. You have a do no interfere order on a mission study in NC. The NC is killing civilians. One of is your friend. You have been given a weapon strong enough to neutralize the NC. What should you do? Okay. <sighs> I'm sucking at this right now. Terminate your boss. Record the conversation. Report your boss. Ask your boss to explain the conversation. Dude, should I? I should be a snitch, right? I didn't pay attention to this. I got one right. <laughs> Out of five, I got one right, bro. All right, let's do like one more. Uh, doppelganger detection. Ooh, let's try this one. Due to its emergence as one of the most common and dangerous entities, special training on doppelganger detection was created. Originally thought to be its own entity type, the doppelganger is rather a class of entities who visually and audibly mimic humans. Mm. Doppelgangers can be detected from their abnormal features. The most common attributes to look for are loose skin, missing features, and incorrect features. Further oh, we got this one. Of the doppelgangers can be made by observing the you gotta point out. For example, you gotta point out the fakes. That's easy. However, identification is covered in a different module. Using your cursor, click on the doppelganger amongst the humans. Begin. Let's go. Let go, twin. The doppelganger? Ooh. Ooh, ooh, uh, dang, okay. Right here. Oh, she's smiling so creepy. Ooh, I think it might be this dude though. The doppelganger here? Her. Right here. Easy. Ugh, it might be her. Ugh. Him. This one? I'm doing pretty good, huh? I only missed one so far. Her. Her. Oh, nope, it was not her. Shoot, I thought for sure. I thought for sure it was. Whoa, timer's going quick. What? I got 12 out of 15, bro. Look get it. What that mean though? Oh, okay, we're getting we're getting ready for the exam. So we got three out of six completed. Awesome. Well, um, I think I'm gonna go ahead and end the gameplay right there, y'all. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed this. I just wanted to check it out, and uh, pretty interesting. Let me know if you guys want to see more gameplay of this. Um, if you guys enjoyed, please make sure you like and subscribe. And I'm gonna go ahead and see you guys next time. Peace out.